Sprinter planes are one of Robocraft's most dominant bot types. Their combination of flight, stability, agility, and speed makes them a fantastic platform for many weapons. Additionally, camera control hover planes are similarly powerful with some trade-offs. This video should contain enough information to be able to make a decent sprinter plane or hover plane. Pros and cons of sprinter planes versus hover planes. Sprinter planes are better for rail and flak, they have better ground agility, and have the ability to sprinter jump. But they have worse air agility, less base speed, and aren't as good for mortar due to their height. Hover planes have better air agility, higher base speed, and more weapon mount options, but have worse ground agility, can be finicky with flak and rail, and can be more difficult to control. Printer planes are most suitable for dual mega weapon loadouts. A common combination is tier 5 rail plus tier 5 ion. Sprinter planes are arguably the best platform for tier 5 rail and work well with any heavy hitting slow weapon. The only weapons sprinter planes are not suitable for are mortar and seeker. To build one, first, place your legs with a rod directly connecting them. This will help avoid the speed penalty for losing one leg. The wings allow flight and contribute to the incredible stability of sprinter planes. When placing wings, they can all be on one side. Make sure one of them is backwards, this is important. The pitch rudders, placed flat facing the front or back of the bay, are what make the wings function correctly. It is best to have some pitch rudders in the front and back of the bot. To my knowledge, pitch rudders work best when opposite to the wings. So if the wings are on the right side, I'd want my pitch rudders more to the left and vice versa. Without them, flight doesn't work properly. If any of your rudders remain, your sprinter plane should be stable, even when heavily damaged. The hover blades act as backup movement and improve agility greatly. You should have at least a few of them, and they should be placed so that any three of them form a triangle. A common armor choice for sprinter planes is Mega Hovers, because they give speed boost, have a lot of health for CPU, and don't weigh that much. I would recommend this placement so that you can do this connection. Additionally, if you copy the rudder placements I used earlier, you should be able to tuck a tier 4 propeller right in here. Light cube block spam is a decent way to armor a sprinter plane without losing too much agility though tier 5 hover blades will be better armor in the long run. And medium cubes can be good, but they lose agility, so be be careful when using them. Another common thing to do on sprinter planes is hover spam, like Boomer Doomer did here, where you put a bunch of tier 4 hover blades for extra speed boost. For a finishing touch, you can move your sprinter plane to the back of the bay for slightly better air controls. Don't ask why this works, it's free jam code. With sprinter planes in combat, you should be trying to take the high ground when you can, and you can avoid being exposed for too long. You don't have a massive health pool. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. See ya.